At Mountaineer Field, what's that going to be like? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Final game at home. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to hurt. Um, it's been a great ride. Uh, it's kind of hard to, to think about right now. I'm sure it'll probably hit me when the time rolls around. I'll try not to make too much of a big deal about it right now because we had a game to prepare for, but uh, I'm sure it'll hit me later. What's your best memory? Um, popping the question of the 50. That had better been the answer you gave. <laughs> um, secondly, I mean, it's definitely going to be a, a home win here. Maybe maybe even my first uh, time playing here in Mizzou, 2016, running out on the field for the first time. Uh, sold out house, that was a good one. Um, lots of memories on Mountaineer Field. But, you know, a lot of people, fans at least they see what happens on game day they see the memories that you make on the game day win and things like that but a lot of the memories that uh, surround football aren't really what happens on the field during those 60 minutes of play it's about the grind in the off season and being with your brothers and your teammates so I think that the primary portion of my memory is going to be from that what have the fans meant to you as a West Virginia native uh, they're really everything to me that's that's one thing that uh, is really important to me is representing the state well um, and so I was one of them at one point. I, I sat in the stands and I wanted to be down there. So for me to, to fulfill my dream and do that, that's uh, that's tremendous. So the fans really are everything, and they're no different from me. They have a dream too, and some of them can come down here and still play. And and uh, so I think it's it's really important to me and and just to, as much to them. Reese, I know the coaching staff wasn't around last year, but for the guys that were. The way that Oklahoma State game went down, bad taste in your mouth, motivation for this year, anything like that going on this week? Of course, we have a lot to play for. I mean, uh, think about it. Uh, chance at a bowl, senior night. The way things went down last year, Oklahoma State. Um, send the seniors out the right way. Why would you not want to play uh, as hard as you can, prepare the best that you can? I mean, we have two games left. It's what, uh, 10 days until that we're guaranteed, and after that we're not guaranteed anything. Why would you not lay it down on the line? What do you know about Hubbard? Seems like he's one of the best backs in the country right now. He's also got a good line to block for him. So you got to give credit where it's due. They're uh, they're good everywhere. Uh, their quarterback gives them a good dual threat option. So uh, they're going to be a task force this week. We're excited to handle them. So you get excited to play against a guy like that? Absolutely. Uh, these are the games that you really, really prepare for. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to get up for lower games, smaller games, things like that. But really, when you have the opportunity to play against one of the better lines in college football, one of the better backs in college football, um, one of the better programs in college football. Um, you know, that's something to be excited about.